In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create API keys for uh, CEX. What you need to do is to come up to your name, there's my name, and then go down to uh, profile. Once you're on the profile, come to API. Now already all the boxes are ticked, so you don't need to do anything else. You just need to give your API keys some names. That's just for your reference. And then all you need to do then is to click on this button here that says generate keys. That will tell you your API keys are being generated. Now what you need to do is you need to copy these. Okay, so you get all these keys. You want the user ID, uh, the actual API key itself, and the secret key. Make sure you save these in a safe place because uh, once you activate them, it's going to hide the secret key. Okay, uh, so make sure you put them into a notepad and then I'm going to show you later how you're going to put those into Zoople Trade. Once you've made a note of those, all you need to do is to click this activate. It's going to send you a CMS, so you click on that there. And it's also going to send you an email, so I'm going to get the CMS first. And as you can see, my keys are still not activated. So the next thing I need to do is to go over to my uh, Gmail account. And as you can see at the top here, I have uh, an email from uh, CEX and it says action needed. So I open that. And on this email, all I need to do is to click this blue button that says activate. That will bring me to this screen again. So I'm just going to go back over to APIs. So now that's been activated. Under no circumstances should you delete any API keys because the bot will stop working if it doesn't have access to your API keys. And you use the same set of API keys for all of your robots that you set up uh, for the CEX uh, exchange. So let's show you how to put those into Zoogle Trade. So here we are on a Zoogle Trade. So I'm going to come up to the dashboard. And what I'm going to do in this right hand corner, I'm going to click on the add button. You'll get this pop up. Make sure that uh, from this drop down menu that CEX is selected. Now, if you've already connected a bot in the past, you can import the keys by using this button. But if you're inputting your keys for the very first time, you're going to need to put them into each box in here. OK, so what you need to do is go to your notepad. So I've already made a note of my keys in my notepad. And the first thing I'm going to collect is the actual API key itself. So I'm going to highlight that and copy it. I'm going to put that into the top there. The next one I want is the secret key. So back over to my notepad, I copy the secret key. That goes into there. And then the last thing I need is the user, the username, which is the user ID. So I copy that, take that over to there, and pop, pop that into there. Once I've done that, all I need to do now is to click log into the exchange. That will bring you to this screen. We have another video in the getting started section that will show you how to set your robot up for the first time. I'll see you in another video. You have an amazing day now. Bye now.